This is Sam with the Kelly at SamWithTheKelly.com. Today I want to share with you some ideas on how you can be a winner in life. Most people, if asked, will express their desires for the nice things of life. They will say that they desire to experience positive emotions, happiness, fulfillment, and passion. They will want to make more money, drive nice cars, live in a comfortable house in a nice neighborhood, and enjoy health. However, many of these people will not be prepared to look deeper within themselves and in their own lives to find out what is required to bring these things into their lives. Most people think that these things come to you only through connections, favoritism, bribe, corruption, coercion, or lack. No wonder success is such an elusive and puzzling phenomenon that is seemingly reserved for only a few who pursue it. Nature or God, if you like, has designed life in a way that success can only be attracted into it, not pursued intensively. It is that unique person we finally become that determines the rewards we attract into our lives. The universe is infinitely endowed with all the things that you want to attract into your life. However, the universe has rules you must abide by before its gates of abundance are opened to you. The rules of life are very simple. If you want more out of life, you must become more. These rules dictate that you must first become that person you desire to be. That unique person that will attract success into his or her life. So how do you become the person you desire to be? It's very simple by the way. Work on your personal philosophy. Your philosophy is determined by what you read, what you view, what you listen to, your environment your social circles, what you watch, etc, etc. Consequently, your philosophy establishes your attitude that prepares you to do the things you must do to have the things you truly desire. Your attitude is in turn determined both, determines both your quality and quantity of your level of activity. Your activity produces the final and proportionate result. The results in turn provides the lifestyle you ultimately enjoy. Wrong philosophy obviously leads to wrong attitude. Wrong attitude leads to no activity. No activity leads to wrong results. Wrong results lead to undesired lifestyle. Finally, there's one ingredient that binds philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and lifestyle together. It is what makes life worth living. It is what gives our lives meaning and purpose. That feeling, that fulfilling feeling that we have made contribution to our families, to our communities, to our nation, and that when we die, we do so knowing that we left this world a much better place than how we found it when we were born. This ingredient is simply the art of giving. We must give some of our rewards as we celebrate our success. We simply can't intellectualize these things or even tap into them emotionally without first experiencing them. If you are not experiencing them, 
you're limited by the inability to give it away to others. Since you can only give what you have. If you want happiness, you must acquire and then give happiness to others. If you want honesty, you must first give honesty. If you want love, you must first give love. If someone is cynical or skeptical, it will be hard for them to encourage excitement or optimism in others. A depressed person can hardly uplift someone else to a state of passion. Someone consumed with hate and jealous emotions will not contribute to the success of other, or someone else. Selfishness, greed and ego are negative attitudes that deny us the lives that we really want. These are simple rules of the game of life that we must not only understand, we must also live by and become part of, become part and parcel of. We must also empower others by teaching them the practical application of these rules. These rules are prerequisite success and are just as true when executing in our tasks, in our daily businesses or so on. They, all, they, they, they exist in all walks of life. So before we get what we want, we must first give. However, remember you cannot give what you don't have. It might sound paradoxical, but it is not. It's simple. After you've learned the rules of success and begun to enjoy success, share with as many people as you can your philosophy. Share with them your experiences. Share them with your expertise. Share with them your honesty. Give your love. Give your passion. Help them identify and set goals. Inspire people to greater performance and productivity. Remember, people don't really care so much about what you have, but they truly appreciate and value what you do. Until next time, stay sharp, stay focused, go for freedom. Take care. Have a fantastic evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.